Well, thank you, everybody. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the uh, self-healing data centers. And uh, how many of you are responsible for data centers today? How many are influenced by data centers today? Lo all of you, right? Um, well, I promise I will not have any terminators in this, uh, this presentation today. Uh, but, oh, oops, sorry about that. I lied. Uh, actually, I do have some. But uh, seriously, let's talk about what's really important to everybody here today. Gambling. Um, does anybody have any tips on any sports book games today? Because I lost a lot of money last night, and I need to make it up. Uh, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. So if anybody's got any tips, please reach me over here. Uh, but seriously, how I tie it all in is that um, everybody is gambling with their data centers today. It could cost you $300 million to get a 5.9 data center. So self-healing data centers could be the answer to how you could have a better, uh, more efficient data center, a better performing data center, and a more reliable data center. Most of these things that are, that are happening, they're very forward thinking, but companies like CA are really pushing the limits with this. And in fact, CA um, just announced the DCIM product which, uh, it, during this conference. So how do we do this? Well, take a smart home. Many of you have smart homes today, whether it's a light that turns on and off automatically or a garage door. Well, take these concepts, put them into the data center. We could have millions of devices, thousands of devices. Imagine, well, trouble with tribbles. Any of you Star Trek fans out there? With all these tribbles all over the place, anything that could be powered can provide information to you or to their data center operators to, to provide better resiliency for your data center. And um, as we have all of our applications that are running, there are no downtime. And it's been very interesting listening to the other luminary speeches today, is that all these things are requiring applications that are running 24-7. There's no such thing as, I need to be able to take a data center down or take a rack down uh, for downtime. So we have to have more resilient data centers to, to create this. How do we do this? We have a thing called CPR. And uh, CPR, when I say CPR, it means cost, performance, and reliability. Those are the three things that are very important to keep a data center up. Of course, there's also security. Security has been a, a major uh, uh, issue uh, these days as well. So let's talk about cost. Uh, I'm sure most of your CIOs, or if you're a CIO yourself, you're really focused on efficiencies, trying to drive costs down and providing you know, better resiliency. Well, if you have all these devices out there and they're providing all this information on how things are going, you might be able to turn off a certain portion of your data center because there's not usage happening there. As an example, performance. Most of our companies are global companies these days. Let's say most of the work is happening in Taiwan at that certain time. What if you could power down your data center that's sitting here in Las Vegas and, or at least really trim it down a lot, you could save a lot of money and move all your operations to Taiwan. Follow that global approach, just how we've done pretty much with our help desk. Reliability. Now this is really one of the most important pieces of it, is how can we have little devices out there that are either wired or wireless, and they're going out and they're telling you the cer certain information that's happening in your data center. Passing it all around to all these other devices, saying, let's do this, let's do that. It's all artificial intelligence, and of course, that's a you know, little, old school type thing, but then also big data. And yes, I'll bring out the whole big data thing. Um, sometimes it makes me like, yell like Chewbacca, but um, you know, it's, it's out there and it's very important. But think about all this information that's coming in there and all these um, analytics. We could buy, provide better performance and better reliability out of that. The last, and certainly not least, is security. So let's say we have all these devices out there and they're talking wirelessly. You want to make sure that no hacker or anybody like that can get this information from those devices. So all this information will remain on these little devices for less than a microsecond as they pass things around. But where that information will be stored on something what I call a CPR router. And it's like a key server that would have to be stored in a special you know, locked location. And ultimately, if you want really intense security, you could copper wire your whole data center and it makes sure no wireless signals can get out. So in conclusion, um, Think of uh, the whole Hangover movie, you know, when they're out there and uh, they're going out to make the $80,000 and going to gamble, and they had all those, like, weird algorithms going down. Uh, that's exactly what this is going to do. All these little devices providing all this information to these routers and being able to intelligently determine how to uh, support our data centers. Anything that has power 
could be intelligent, and can provide a better resilient data center for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.